Today we're opening the new hyped Yu-Gi-Oh set, Magnificent Mavens. What's up guys, we're back with a display, I guess you would call this, of Magnificent Mavens. I did the intro and called it Majestic Mavens the first time, so don't worry, I got it right this time. This set has been extremely hyped because of the Ashizu support that's going to go with the Tier Elements deck. It's going to be absolutely insane. There's also a bunch of amazing reprints in here, so I'm pretty excited to open this thing up. Before we get started, we do have a giveaway. I'll be giving away every card we pull in this video. Just make sure to like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, let me know your favorite card from this set or what you're excited about from the set. Also, I've announced all the giveaways on the YouTube community tab yesterday, so go check that out. See if you want something. All right, we are ready to go. Majestic Mavens, let's do this. Let's open this thing up. Let's see what we can get. Pretty hype set, so I'm hoping that we can uh, get some good cards. Another thing to note is I want to do a live stream tomorrow. I'm not sure if our cases are going to get here or not. Why does that matter so much? I'm leaving the next day to go to Pasadena. So if they don't show up, we're not doing our live stream until next week, which is going to kind of suck. I hope that doesn't happen, but I want to keep you guys updated that the goal is to do the live stream tomorrow, Thursday, but there is a good chance it won't be till like Tuesday because I'm not getting back till Monday super late, so it might be Tuesday. Okay, let's check this thing out. We have Magnificent Mavens. There is sleeves in each one of these, which is super cool. One of my absolute favorite things about this, there's like 70 pack of sleeves, one of six new designs to collect, plus four packs of ultra rare cards and five cards per pack, 103 cards to collect and play. So let's just go ahead and get into it. There are only five here. So this was like, I bought it from locals. I think it was like 130 bucks, you know? You know, locals is usually more expensive than like buying online or whatever, but I always like to support locals for at least a couple boxes before I get into it. If you guys want to buy some of this though, and you want to check it out from Sassy, how to use code MAGNIFICENTRUX for 5% off. All right, let's see how many packs are inside. I think it said five packs, right? Or four packs, four packs, uh, yeah, four packs, and then one pack of sleeves. Check these out. Are there different sleeves or is it all like this artwork? I'm not actually sure about that. We'll find out, I guess, right now. All right, four packs, Magnificent Maven. Packaging looks great. I'm just excited that this is not like the premium gold or whatever it's called because I think people were really getting tired of that. I didn't hate the gold series, but I didn't love it either. So I'm glad that we're kind of moving on, like leaving it in the past where it should probably belong. Let's see what we can get. I think how this works is like, it's like each slot is a different like potential thing. I'm not sure how this works. I kind of heard about it, but I forgot to watch a bunch of videos on this. So I kind of forgot. So we're kind of just going into it. Sky Striker A Zeke, that's a nice reprint. Light Imprisoning Mirror for those Edison decks. That's actually dope. That's good for side decks in Edison. That's really cool. Nightmare Phoenix, another cool one. There is the Pharaoh's Rare. I forgot to mention that. There's a Pharaoh's Rare, which if you remember the God cards at Secret Pharaoh's Rare, Ultra Pharaoh's Rare, apparently they actually look good on these versus the God cards. They didn't look great. So hopefully we can pull one. I think they're actually pretty hard to pull. And a Kagar. So we got two Sky Striker cards right off the bat. Not bad. If we pull a big Pharaoh Rare, that'd be awesome. Dark Magician Girl comes in Pharaoh Rare. I think a few other pretty cool cards. Totally awesome. That's much needed because this card got really expensive all of a sudden. We have a Sky Striker Mobilize Linkage. Wait, I don't remember this card. I mean, it's, it probably already existed, but I don't remember that card. The Beyond Tunaful, Beyond Tunaful <laughs> Princess. All right. Oh, there's Ray, the card that I thought was Rose the entire time in the OTS opening yesterday. Was it yesterday we posted that video? I think it was. Go check that out if you guys missed it. And then a Witchcrafter, Hane. I think this one was like a $10 super rare from, what set was that? It was one of those side sets for a while, but probably not now. Okay, bunch of ultra rares. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Let's see if we can get something cool. We got, oh, Change of Heart is in here. I wonder if this has a fair rare. That'd be pretty cool. Makes sense because, you know, just came off the ban list, got really expensive. Surgical Striker Ham. Surgical Striker? Is this new? I've never heard of that. H-A-M-P, okay. Sword Soul Stripe. Another thing we're really looking for is the Ishizu stuff. I've already kind of mentioned it, but that's what's really, really hyped in this set, what people really want, so that's what we want to pull. Uh, we've got the Sword Soul Sinister Sovereign, Quingzing Longyan, and the Cat Shark. This used to be a, like, gold secret rare, which was, like, some people hate that, too. So it was an older gold, but some people don't like any gold at all. So probably a good reprint there. These are very clean ultra rares. I like them. Oh, our first awesome reprint. I was about to say decent. This is an awesome reprint. Infinite Impermanence ultra rare. This card now has like eight prints. So at this point, if you don't have Impermanence, I don't know what to tell you. There's a lot of them. Keldo, the Sacred Protector. So this is an Ishizu card. The reason I know, not because I looked them up or anything, but Keldo. This is an old card that was an Ishizu like normal monster that they upgraded and gave it like a retrain. And now it's really good. So Keldo, Predaplant, Ambulomeladies. Miladies, Milady. Okay, uh, G Golem token. G. Is that like Goggle Golem? Is that? I don't know what that is. 
And then Mayakashi Return. Oh, I love Mayakashi. That's a cool archetype. All right, that's our first mini box. So we got some pretty good stuff in the very first one. There's still four to go. All right, so we have more packs and then we have, oh, more art. Okay, a different artwork. Is this Witchcrafters? I think it is. This one is like, I think it's like Ice Bell or something. I can't remember what it is. Four packs to go. I'm a big fan of these sleeves. Like having all these sleeves in every single pack is really cool value. Uh, we got this one last time in the very first pack. The Agito. This is another Ishizu card. Very nice. If you guys remember the original Agito, which is pretty funny. Non-fusion area. Very cool. Neither player can fusion summon. Do people actually play this? I guess if it, a fusion deck got really good, you might want to side deck it. Nightmare Cerberus. Another nightmare card. Sky Striker Ace Hayate. We have all the Sky Strikers so far. And wait, is that the last card? Oh, that was the last card. Okay, I thought that, there is five cards, right? Okay, I must have just thought I was on the fourth card for some reason. Oh, the Duster TP8 art. I love this. That is so beautiful. TP8 Duster has now been reprinted. That looks beautiful. We got, I mean, it had been reprinted before, I think, in like Battle Pack, so it's not the first time, but Mudora. So Mudora got the upgrade. Mudora, wasn't he like a super in Dark Crisis? So he was already a foil and like an effect monster, but now he's a Sword Oracle. Sword Soul Strife added again. Chaos Hunter getting a reprint, and originally a Secret Rare, I believe, in like maybe Crossroads of Chaos or something. And then the Dragon Maid changeover. So you Dragon Maid fans, there you go. Getting some more Dragon Maid support. Let's go. Two packs to go. I'm going really slow right now. I'm just really enjoying this, though. It's fun. Ooh, the Blackluster Soldier, Soldier of Chaos. The first time it's at a reprint that's not a Ghost, Ulti, or Secret. So the lowest rarity now. Sky Striker Ghost token. They didn't have a token? Is that right? I didn't know that. Therion, Duke. Oh, more Therions. They're back. Sky Striker Ace, Shizuku. And Sky Striker Mecha Shark Cannon. Very, very nice. All right. One more pack in this mini box. So far, a very cool set. I'm liking it. So many cool reprints. Millennium Eyes Restrict. There's another one. Exchange of Despair and Hope. That is creepy. All right. Uh, the Beyond Tunaful. Beyond Tunaful. Butunaful. Butunaful. I don't know how to say that. Witchcrafter Creation and Cat Shark added again. All right. So we're going to move on to the next mini box. All right. What are our sleeves going to be this time? We have. I don't know what these are. It looks similar to the Witchcrafter ones. I'm not sure what that is. Okay. I, I don't know what the, what archetype that is, but it's it's an archetype. Let's see what we can keep getting. We got Change of Heart again. Very nice. Gravekeeper's Trap. I wonder if that goes with the Ishizu stuff. It has the Exchange of the Spirit and stuff like that. Shadow Imprisoning Mirror again. Very nice. Sword Soul. Oh, this guy. This guy was insane in Auction Series. I had to add him like 50 times. Sword Soul of Taya. So the Sword Soul stuff's getting reprinted, even though I don't think anybody's playing it right now. But hey, good reprint, I guess. Let's see what's next. We have Galaxy Eyes Afterglow Dragon. Let me know in the comments. Do you prefer this? We haven't seen the Pharaoh's Rare yet, so can't really be 100% sure. But do you prefer this or the Maximum Gold series? Let me know. All right, the Afterglow Dragon. Ghost Girl meets a Master Miyakishi Shirinui Saga. Sword Soul Strife. Scapegoat got a reprint. Okay, another Scapegoat. Probably have a million prints of that. And then the Golem Token added again. Okay. Another thing I wanted to mention while we're doing this, guys, is uh, we will be having potentially uh, the sponsor of this video on multiple videos throughout the month. So we're also a dragon. That's a really good reprint. But I wanted to mention that. So you're not like, why does this keep popping up? I appreciate you guys supporting me when like I'm doing like ads on the channel because I know it's not what you're really here for. You're really here for the Yu-Gi-Oh and stuff like that. But the ads really help like support me and like help Chelsea and I and all that stuff and just get more content and all that stuff. So I appreciate you guys uh, just watching it, skipping through it, whatever you do with it. So Moral Sword Dragon. We got the Yukiona, the Ice and Miyakushi. This is the one with the sleeves, right? That looks like it. But it's a little bit of a different pose. Is it, wait, is it? Could be a different artwork, actually. Might be a different artwork. Not sure. Prada Plant, Ambul Maladies. We got the Kringzing Long In. Catch Art. I feel like we've had that pack like four times. All right, one more here. Let's see what we can do. The Iris Sword Soul. Very nice. Sky Striker Ace, Zeke. The Baruru at Ignister. Very nice. Dark Soul Token and Nightmare Cerberus. Okay, so that's the second Cerberus, I believe. There are a large amount of like tokens in here, which I actually like the uh, specific tokens for like your deck. Because if you're playing a deck and you have like the Sky Striker deck and you have the Sky Striker token, I think it's pretty cool. So I'm a fan of that. I'm okay with that. Also, I've already mentioned that I'm going to be in Pasadena this week. So if you guys are going to be there, make sure to come up and say hi. Because some people in Minnesota said they saw me but they were didn't know if it was me or not just come up and say hi all right we have uh oh that looks like sky striker sleeves very nice okay very very good four packs to go we've got two more mini boxes very fun set to open i'm excited to open a little bit more skill drain oh wow another skill drain print okay keldo the sacred protector 
Ruxin special, the non-fusion area. That skill drain's probably killing our Dark Crisis value, though, when we open that. Rares aren't going to be worth 10 bucks anymore. Non-fusion area. We got the Hajun, the win, Winged Miyakashi, and Secret Village. Oh, Secret Village of the Spellcasters. That's a rough one. That is a rough one to play against. Let's go to the next thing. We still have not seen a Pharaoh's Rare, I don't think. So, unless we completely missed it, which is possible. There's another Soldier of Chaos. Okay. The Aileron. I don't know what that is. This card is always treated as a Sky Striker card. Is that a new card? Or, I've never seen that card before. That I remember. Sword Soul Assessment. Okay, another assessment. There's the uh, the Sword Soul guy we got earlier. Nightmare Cerberus. That's a playset of those. Okay. Sky Striker Ace. Hayate. I think we have a playset of those as well. Two to go. Then we got one more mini box after this. We have Draco Dragon Dragon Necro. This is actually was a decent card. I think it was a Seeker Rare in gold, maybe. Another Sword Dragon. We've got, if they just reprint all the gold cards into this set, people will love it because it's like, you know, it's not gold anymore. <laughs> we got the uh, the Hamp. I keep Rux and Specialing these cards. Dry oh, they got a foil for Draco back, the Rideable Dragon. So now if you're playing like the Brave stuff, you don't have to use the Rare. I think it was a Rare out of, uh, what's the set called? The February set with like the, you know, with the Brave stuff in it. What was it? And the Punk stuff. What was that set called? I can't remember. Chaos Hunter, very nice. And Dragon Maid Changeover. All right, so cool to get a Draco back foil. All right, Magnificent Mavens, baby. Last pack of the fourth mini box. What will we get? We have Sword Soul Moji. Okay, cool. Not the Secret Rare, but cool. We got the Linkage. Very nice. The Om Omnibamaru and Soul Sleeper. Okay, we got the Shizuku. Very nice. And Shark Cannon. All right, Shark Cannon. Very cool. I feel like that wasn't the craziest mini box we've had yet, but, it, you know, still a bunch of good cards. Had some of these Shizu stuff, I think. Maybe one or two cards. Let's see what our final one will bring us. Will we get something crazy? We have, oh, wow, the Engage Sleeves. Wow, that's going to be, uh, those are going to be nice. I think people are going to want those. How many different sleeves are there? I'm actually really interested because it's five different ones so far, which is really cool. Four packs. I'm actually hyped about those sleeves. I think that's one of the coolest things, honestly. Just having a 70 plaque of sleeves with, like, unique artwork is really cool. Uh, incredible Ecclesia. The whole Sword Soul deck is in here, it seems like. Gravekeeper's Trap. Very nice. Sword Soul Assessment. Beautiful. Scapegoat. Again. And the Golem Token. We have three of those if we need three tokens. I don't think you do, but I don't know the deck, so maybe you do need three tokens. Number 93, Utopia Kaiser. I don't think we've seen that one yet. That's pretty dope. Sky Striker is token again. Very nice. Draco back the Rideable Dragon. Sword Soul Sinister Sovereign Queen Zing Long Yan. And the Cat Shark. We have a lot of Cat Sharks. Two packs to go. Let me know what you're thinking about this new set, guys. I think it seems like a pretty solid set for your money. Yada's in here! That's so dope. I can't wait to open more of this. There's so many, it's like cool stuff. It keeps, we just keep pulling new cards. Yada Garasu, that's awesome. All right, there's the uh, the ice, Icicle Miyakashi, not the Ice Miyakashi. Omnibaru, Soul Sweeper. Dark Soul Token. Oh, I'll play a little Dark Souls. Okay. And then Nightmare Cerberus. Very, very nice. We're on to the final pack. Let's see what we can do. Here we go. I really hope we get our cases tomorrow, guys, so we can open them up together. But uh, if not, you're going to have to wait till Tuesday, unfortunately, because I'm going to be gone. So, uh, yeah, make sure to go say hi at Pasadena. we got to exchange the spare. A legendary ocean. Just a bunch of random stuff. That's so cool. Nightmare Phoenix. And the final card of the opening is... Sky Striker Ace Kagari. So it seems like a pretty awesome reprint set. I'm excited to open more of it, hopefully tomorrow. And I hope to see you guys then. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you guys enjoyed the video. Shout out to Toe Info Show, Daxter, Tomato Juice, JT Cho, TCG Trusted Cards, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto DeAnda, Dizzy, Flexi Boy, Hoppus, Choice 333, Micycle, Melancholy, and then his high show, Christopher Ward, Ian Musa, John Nolan, Junior Barding, Mike Nance, Mimic Gecko, Stanley, and Thomas McLean. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.